Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Welcome to the next video on Kotlin tutorials. Let's assume that I have a class called as vehicle. It has got a function called as runs on, prints a random message like runs on fuel. And now I want to create a subclass of this vehicle class. That would be pretty easy to do. I will just extend that particular class, call it as probably electric vehicle and override the runs on function. But the only issue that I have is this electric vehicle class is not going to be used across the application and probably it is just a one time usage in the whole application. But in spite of that, I will be forced to do this extension and create a class and hierarchy. If it is of not much use, why should I bother even creating a separate class and a file and override these methods? The question I am trying to ask is, is there a better way of handling this situation? Can I do this without having to declare a new class? And the answer is yes. And Kotlin solved this particular problem through object expressions. So let's try to understand how this works through a demo. So here I have a class called as vehicle and then a electric vehicle which extends vehicle. And then I am creating an instance of electric vehicle and when I run it basically shows runs on electricity. Now the thing is I don't want to explicitly create a electric class. So what I would do is I will write object and that object will extend the vehicle class. And this extension is pretty much same as what you would have done here. Inside that I will override runs on functionality and then here I will pretty much copy paste the functionality that I had written earlier and this is no more needed. So now what I have done is I have created a object which extends vehicle class and provides the implementation of the super classes runs on method. It is basically a function overriding and now if I run this it basically gives me the same functionality that is runs on electricity. Now if I try to print what type of object it is it will print true. So that basically means whatever the object that we have created here the sample vehicle it is of type vehicle because of the classical inheritance concept. You should also remember that you can completely avoid this and just give a immediate implementation of a class here. This is also perfectly fine. Now you can see that it is giving me a compile time error. The reason behind is now this object doesn't extend any vehicle class. This is called as an object expression. Now what you have defined here is basically a immediate class with a functionality. And this particular object that is sample vehicle would be of type any. The return type of this particular thing would be any and you will see that now I am getting a response as true. Now this is not a vehicle type. If this particular vehicle was a abstract class and now I can still extend vehicle. Basically what this proves is you can create a object expression by extending a abstract class as well. Not only that if you had a interface you can basically make a object expression extend a class and implement an interface as well. So let's assume that I had a interface uh, called as hybrid. It had a function called as fuel combination. What I can now do is this object can extend vehicle and implement hybrid as well. And then I have to implement the functionality of fuel combination. And now I can write sample vehicle dot fuel combination. And if I run this, it will print me electricity and biofuel. And if you explicitly want this particular object of to be type say hybrid interface, you can explicitly mention it. In that case, you will see that this is giving me a compile time error. But once again, it's up to you whether you want this or not. You might have a question that whether this particular object that we are creating here that object expression can it access any instance variables that might be available in the class that it is extending. So what I mean to say is let's assume that I have a val number of wheels of type int set to 4 
Now, can I access this number of wheels inside, say, object? Well, the answer is you can because at the end of the day, this object is basically a subclass of vehicle and it can access whatever that you might have defined here in the superclass that it is extending. Not only that, you can even provide separate functionalities because at the end of the day, when you are creating a new object by extending a class, you can override and add some of your own functionalities. Another one more small concept that I wanted to cover is in Kotlin, there is no static variables. In Kotlin, there is a concept of companion objects. Companion object is basically a object that is defined inside a class to be always associated with that particular class. So what do I mean by that is I can create a companion object and then inside that companion object I can define a function and this particular functionality can return a vehicle and I can basically copy paste this code here and now I can write vehicle dot get vehicle. So this looks like a static function that has been defined inside a vehicle. And that is the idea behind using companion objects. So now I can even create a static final like variables here. So let me create val tag is of type string and let me assign a value vehicle and then I can access vehicle dot tag as if it was a public static final constant in the vehicle. You will actually use this companion object concept to create singletons in Kotlin quite a lot in the future. When the time will come, I will explain that as well. So that's it about the object expressions in Kotlin. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.